A question that I get a lot is what is the best editing software to edit GoPro footage? Well, there's a lot of different options out there. If you're on a Mac, you can use Final Cut Pro or iMovie on a PC. Uh, Premiere Pro and Premiere Pro Elements are awesome, but they all require a fair amount of work. But there are other options. GoPro makes their own desktop editing software. It's called GoPro Quick. It's the same name as the GoPro app that you can use to edit videos on your phone very, very quickly and basically automatically. On the desktop, it has a few more options, but it's still based around this idea of being very, very intuitive to use and allowing you to quickly go from having footage on your GoPro camera to having a final edit, which is 90% as good as you would do if you spent hours doing it, but takes a couple of minutes to get done, but still allows you a lot of creativity and flexibility and customization in what you're doing. So here is the main landing page of GoPro's Quick desktop app. Now you can find this on their website. I've got links to it down in the video description. It works on both Windows and Mac. And unlike the old GoPro Studios, you are no longer required to ingest all of the footage into it before you start editing it, editing it which was a very large drawback uh, for the GoPro Studios app. With this, you go into Edit, Preferences, and then you basically just pick the folder where your GoPro footage is located. And then the key step here is you have to hit scan after you add it. And this will import all of your footage into this media browser. So I've got a little trip here. This was a trip to Magnetic Island. And we'll just select all of it. So from there to here, it's organized by date from oldest at the bottom to newest at the top. And then just hit open in create mode. This will pop all of the footage in on the left here. So each one of these represents a different video track. Our timeline will be down here on the bottom. And basically just uh, from newest or from oldest at the top to newest at the bottom. And all you do here is you scrub through the video clip with your mouse. And then when you see a bit that you think is interesting, you click and this puts a highlight marker. You can see the little blue marker there, a highlight marker in that video, and then it drops it down onto the timeline. And as you add more and more clips, it will continue to um, rearrange the timeline in a way to best incorporate all of those highlighted points that you have um, marked out. <laughs> now, if you get this warning that says that there you've reached the maximum number of highlight points, sometimes coming down and lengthening the video a little bit will help you out there. All right, so I've gone through all of the video clips now and added some highlight points to them. And you can see that down here on the timeline, all of those um, highlight markers have been added and that they've all been spaced uh, to match the music and what Quick thinks is going on inside of the video clips. If you want to change the music, you can click here. You can see there's a whole bunch of different audio clips available. So you just pick the one that best suits your video. Once you've found one you like, you hit add to video, and then we can hit the play button to view back our work.
We're done. Hit save. And we'll call this. Give it our title. Hit save. And now it's going to render out. So this can take a little while depending on the, uh, well, the speed of your computer. So there it is. That was GoPro Quick for desktop. Now, like I said, it's available for Mac and for PC. It's super easy to use. And I think the best thing about it is that it still allows you to go through and select each part of the video clip that you want to include and then it just deals with all the rest of it. Sure, it's not going to give you quite the same power over the edit that you would have if you use something else, but there is a lot of fine tuning you can do in there. You can just picking the right little spots here and there, a lot of customization through music and really, really simple to use. That edit took about eight minutes to go through all of those different video clips and select the parts I wanted to use and then just render out and save and it's ready to share wherever I want. And that's a lot faster than I'd be able to do it using something like Premiere or After Effects. Anything I do in there is gonna take probably at least half an hour to 45 minutes by the time I go find music, pick the in and out points of every single clip, try and match them up with the music, try and figure out where I wanna cut them, how to make it just exactly the right length. So much, much faster. And to be able to come back, load your SD card in your computer and just go through, pick the clips you want to use, pick the areas that you know you want to include, and then just have something that's ready to go. Again, not completely as customizable as if you're using professional software, but simple to use, intuitive, and really, really quick. And you should totally check it out. If you've got a GoPro sitting around and you've been frustrated by the speed of editing softwares, this is one that will really speed up the process. So you should check it out. It's totally free. The only paywall in it is if you want to pay for more music by subscribing to GoPro's, uh, whatever their pro or plus subscription thing. But you don't really need that. There's a bunch of music included that's totally free. Um, so go check it out, uh, get a copy of it and try it out because it is simple and easy and it allows you to create things that are that look great and do it quickly and maybe this will make you go and back and get your gopro off your shelf and start actually sharing and doing something with some of the footage you shoot with your gopro camera that was gopro quicks its links are down in the video description i think it's a pretty cool piece of software and i think it makes using and sharing your gopro footage more easy and more doable and something that's more accessible to everybody. So check it out and um, let me know what your thoughts are about it. Did you know about it? Have you used it before? Or have you only heard about the GoPro app? Until next time guys, thank you very, very much for watching.